Well, we are familiar with this kind of game. This is an extensive form game. We know it very well, as you could see it from the game itself, that player 1 is going to move first, player 2 is moving second, conditional on the choices, and he's going to make choices, uh, his choices, conditional on whatever choice player 1 has made. Well, this is, in general, the extensive form game with perfect information. Okay, so in perfect information, every player knows exactly what has taken place earlier in the game. So, so player two knows here, if he's sitting here, he knows that he's sitting here and he knows that player one has chosen X. So player, once the game reach here, reaches here, then player two knows that player one has chosen X. When the game reaches here, if at all, then player 2 knows that player 1 has made the choice of Y. Okay. But in some cases, it might be possible that this is not always clear. Okay. So, and this is the case with the games of imperfect competition. And that would mean that when player 2 is sitting at this node or at this node, he doesn't know at which node he is sitting. Whether he is sitting at this node or he is sitting at this node, he doesn't know one thing. Okay. Other thing, both the nodes in this information set, they pertain to the same player. Okay. Other thing. When player 2 is sitting at these nodes, he doesn't know at which node he is sitting, either here or here. That would mean he doesn't know whether player 1 has chosen X or he has chosen Y. Okay. So what might happen is that player one can actually fool player two into thinking that he has played X while he has actually played Y or he has played Y while he has actually played X. Okay. Now, if you think about it, um, if you think about it, just just a little bit. I'm, I'm not actually solving this game, how to solve this game. I'm just giving you an example about it. Now, here, these are three sub games again. Now, player two is going to make choice between two and three here. So he should be picking up B. And these are the outcomes. If he's sitting at this sub game, then player two has a choice between two and one. So he should be choosing two. That means this. And when this is offered to player 1, he should choose A. Got this? Now, since player 2 doesn't know whether player 1 has chosen X or he has chosen Y, player 1 wants Two to actually choose this strategy so that his payoff is maximized. He can befool player one that he has chosen X while in reality he has chosen Y. Well, this is just an introduction to the game. In the later recording, I'm going to tell you that how to solve these games with imperfect competition. This was just an introduction that what is an information set? What are the characteristics of information set? That's it.